some links out to get started. But to get started in a minute. Let's send some links out there when we're about to get started. Live, baby. Hold on a second. Let me have a drink here. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Jalen the King, what's good, baby? <sighs> All right, let's do this. I sent the links out there. Canes in the nose. I got my drink. Oof. Ah. Let's get it cracking. Hey, invite the Seminole fans. Invite the Cane fans. Get them in here. Let's get it popping. Did you see it? Two and two Miami. That's right. Y'all been trash. I'm going to wait a little longer. I'm going to see who joins before I start the game. We're going to go over. Let's look at the top 25. We're going to look over everything while we waiting for people to join. This is top 25. We got Clemson, number one. LSU, number two. Bama. We bringing in at four. Notre Dame coming in at five. This is top five. As you can see, we're going to top 25. Norvell's old squad is doing their thing. It looked like they got a stacked defense. But as you can see, no other Florida team up here besides UCF, the Gators, and the Hurricanes unranked. Really trash. Jalen say he's doing the same thing I'm doing. Well, that's what's up, man. I love this game. Who you play with, Jalen? I got I got two I got two dynasties. But this is the Florida State dynasty, but then I run one with Texas Tech. And uh, yeah, you know, trying to build a bad program into a good one. You know how that go. So let's look at the. 
the Heisman. Kylan Hill right now. It's the leader for the Heisman. He's got 700 yards and 10 touchdowns. Notre Dame QB, Ian Book. Then you got DeAndre Swift, who's still with the with uh, Georgia. Tua and J.K. Dobbins. Let's look at these stats. Look at these season stats. Purdy's coming in. 1,200 yards, 15 touchdowns, two interceptions, 68% completion percentage. 100 yards, over 150 yards rushing, only one touchdown rushing. Leighborn leads the team in rushing. There you see Terry leading the team in receiving. And Emmett Rice and Amari Gaynor lead the team in tackling. So we got a little bit going, man. Got a little bit going. And I'll show you the house rules to show you. I play on Heisman. As you can see, Heisman, Heisman, Heisman. No cheating this way. You don't take any days off. All right. Well, I'm about to get started. Probably not too many more people going to join, I guess. So maybe they'll come later on. As you can see, 93, 95. Should be an even matchup on paper. They got us last year. Miami was our lone lost last year. We're the only team that beat us last year. And now we're going for revenge against these hurricanes. Yeah, I know. Hey, we'll do that later on, Jalen. So I got the 2020 or the 20, I got last year's roster on here. And I personally did Florida State's roster myself. Um, but yeah, I'll get that roster from you. Definitely get that roster from you. Let's go ahead and pick these jerseys. What you, what you, what you think? What you think, Jalen? What, what, what should we do? Should we do, uh, what jersey? Should we go all blacks? You want to do the all black helmet? Do you want to do. Oh no. Oh no. What should we do? I'm thinking all garnets. Kind of like these. Or should we do like black and garnet? What do you think? Nah, that look, that look ugly. Let's go with these. I think I'm gonna do it all garnets. So I like the feather on the side of those. Yeah, let's go with that. And then let's see, Miami. Yeah, we'll do the all whites for Miami. How about that? All right, man, let's get it cracking. Let's get it started. Garnet jersey and pants, black helmet. You said the black helmet, so you want me to choose the black helmet? Dang, I saw that comment late. I should have chose the black helmet. I, I ain't think it looked right, though, with the black helmet, though. I thought it looked better with the garnet, with the traditional helmet. There you can see we second in the nation in points, third in yards, second in passing, 44th in rushing. We first in rushing defense. But if you play this game on Heisman, you know, man, they be cheating on offense for the other team. We got a couple visiting prospects, one five-star, two four-star, so we got to have a good showing for, for, for recruiting purposes. We got to have a good showing. Uh, Durden, Terry, Asante, and there you see Miami squad. 
injury report. All right, man. Let's get it rocking. Let's get it rocking. Jerg, I see you in the chat. Hey, Jerg, y'all beat me last season. Y'all beat me. I actually lost to the computer on Heisman. They beat me last year. So, y'all might be, hey. Miami got a good squad on the game for sure. Still don't understand why Bandy left for the league. Yeah, you know these kids, man. They don't stay. They don't stay long. They feel like they can get some money. That's what they do. Shout out to Miami's recruiting, man. And I don't usually have a lot of nice things to say, but Diaz, if he, he I don't know about coaching wise, but the man is recruiting his ass off. I, I think that got a lot to do with this pandemic too. Kids want to stay close to home, and Manny Diaz is taking full effect. It's reminding me of. Uh, Randy Shannon came in and recruited all those Miami boys that, what was that? What year was that? Was that like 07 or 08 when Randy Shannon did all of that? I don't, don't quite remember, but what Manny's doing right now is reminding me of that. James Williams, man, that was a huge pick. That was a huge pick. I wasn't expecting that. That's a big deal. All right, boy, let's get the game cracking. Man, if you're just joining the chat, man, hit the like button. I got my drink on deck. I'm drinking some, some I got some Seagrams. 08, yeah, 08 or 07. I know it was one of those years, but Randy Randy came in there, man, and he he recruited all those Miami boys. That was Ja'Cory Harris. That was all those, a bird. Benjamin, he recruited all of those boys. And uh, Manny's doing something similar right here. I I'd rather see these, you know, I don't like Miami, but I'd rather see these kids stay home than go to Bama and Georgia and Clemson. Hey, make the crib great. I'm all for it. What's up, bro? What's up, Hassin? You about to whoop up on these canes real quick. Own Heisman difficulty. Oh, let me fix my camera. I don't even think I'm like in the camera. Oh, oh, shit. I'm fixing my camera and they catching screen passes. Look at that. Trying to make sure I'm actually in the camera. I see them fly white uniforms too. Yeah, I decided to give Miami the all whites. We went all garnets. You need to help and get your copy, Jerg, man, so we can get on this together. Third and seven. Okay, let's go ahead and get this stopped. Got Quayshawn Fuller, Dirt, and True Thompson all in there. Get this stop and get the ball in Chubba Purdy's hands. Uh, there you go. I don't know why Nicole Superior ran it. But it works for me. So last year we went 12 and 1, and yes, Miami was the lone team that I lost to. I think I threw like three or four picks that game. Just a terrible game. Florida's whooping Vandy. Now we got Purdy. Here we go. Chuba, let's go. The future is now. As 
If you don't know, one of the rules on this series, I do. I don't call the plays. I just do ask a coach and pick from the plays they give me. So I got to choose from whatever they give me. This way I don't just call the same play. You know, you know how you got your cheese plays. So I don't really do it. <laughs> Trouble. I call whatever Coach Norville gives me, baby. Terry's got him. That's a touchdown. Booyah! Bingo! Can't hold him. Can't stop him. Tamari on Terry. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown. Let's go. Miami, what are you doing? Yeah, we opened up against Pitt last year and played Pitt in the ACC championship last year. Let's see if Miami's offense can do something for us. I have a feeling this might not be a close game like it was. Well, last year it wasn't even a close game. I think Miami beat me Go check out that video, man. I think Miami beat me pretty soundly. It was like 40-something to 20-something. Like, I couldn't stop the offense. I was throwing interceptions. Just had a bad game. It was the worst game, obviously, last year. Uh, wasn't even close, if I remember correctly. Whew. How's a pick trying to get it? Perry, they might need to do a quarterback change. Perry's looking a little suspect. Okay, we're going to play with Gainer. Ah! Jeff Thomas still on this team, as you see. We'll go, man. We'll man him up. Come on, Dent. You can beat a man like that. Blackman has been killing Purdy. Yeah, maybe in your league, but in my league, Blackman don't start. He don't play. I don't want to see him. This is the Purdy show. This is the show of the future. Chubba Purdy's in the building. Do cover one, gainer, you know, patrol the middle. Ooh, they call the screen. Come on, Dan, get that tackle. God, dog. Had him, and this man couldn't get the tackle. They've called like three or four screen plays, though. Cozy Perry loves running, I see. Uh, try a corner blitz. But yeah, Miami's been recruiting well. FSU, we just got a D commitment, but we did pick up a solid kid from New Orleans who I'm excited to see. Defensive end. Uh, we lost an offensive line, a center. Not a huge hit. It's a bad look because of the help we obviously need on the line, but his talent level, he can be replaced in my opinion. So, you know, my, my, Miami's got it clicking on recruiting. FSU's still trying to get it. I think uh, Pazon, five-star wide receiver from Louisiana, he visited today. So, he's FSU's trending for him. We've been recruiting Louisiana fairly hard, which is good, good to see. 
Miami settles for the field goal. This is my first live stream. I usually record videos and all that, so this is my first live stream. I'm excited, having fun with it. Get your boys in here. Let them know what's going on. I haven't done a live stream in a while. Figured I'd do some a live stream. We can talk, kick it, and at the same time, get some gameplay. As Laybourne just runs for the first. Keep the ball on the ground. Keep the ball on the ground. Uh, ooh, Corbin ran him over. Jay Sean Corbin, all right. Four yards. So if you don't know, offensive line still sucks. I've been working on trying to recruit this offensive line. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, they hit me with the blitz. Let's see. We got Brian Robinson, Terry. Shoot. See? And now we forced a punt. I'll probably do the next stream on uh, on StreamYard. See, the thing with StreamYard is I don't know. I have to figure it out. Right? I don't know if I can get my gameplay on StreamYard. Like, I can record myself, but I don't think I can record the gameplay on StreamYard. So, if I can figure that out, we'll do that, Jalen. I'm down with that. All right, seven three, first quarter. Uh, big coup. There you go. Now, obviously, we are we are a much more improved team than we were last year. Good hit. All right. D. Wiggins. Miami going with the no huddle. We're going to man it up across the board. Oh, shit. Here, man, they love their screens. And I keep falling for them. I'm not even paying attention. They're hitting me with the screen every damn play, it seems like. That's, that's Nikosi's best pass is the screen pass. Let's go with Bay. Make his ass fumble. Sipping on gin and juice. Oh, all right. Let me try to go for the lead here. All right, all right. They score. I'm gonna take a drink. And they scored. All right. Miami's in lead. Something about Miami, man. They always give me the toughest game. I can't wait till they remake. They finally start this season, this series back up. It's amazing actually how good this game holds up, play gameplay wise, graphically. Uh, just imagine this game when they bring it to forget PS4 when they bring it to the PS5 and the Xbox, whatever they're calling this new Xbox. Like as long as they don't trash it like they do Madden, I can't stand Madden. I hate Madden. 
but they keep stay if they stay true to the college football formula, man, I can't wait till they re-release this game. I really can't. But hey, hit that like button, man. I saw I got at least well now we got five. We had as much as seven or eight. Man, come in here and hit the like button. What are you not hitting the like button for? It's FSU Miami. One of, if not maybe the greatest rivalry in college football. And I mean that. That's not just me talking. Whew. Big hit. If you look at these two programs, you look at what they played for, uh, the amount of talent each time they played, this is arguably... In my opinion, probably the best rivalry in all of foot in all of college football. We can debate it, I know. But just with the amount of talent, how many times these teams played for to go to the big game, bruh. Hit the like button. Not only hit the like button, man, share it. You got Miami fans out there, get them in the stream and let me hear them talk they trash. Jurgen got quiet on me. I don't know if he left or what. Maybe he Doing other things. I expected Jurgen to be out here talking all this trash. Ugh. Let's go, Warren Thompson. Miami's in the lead. We got 10 7. Purdy's out here trying to win a Heisman on these boys. He's 4 for 4, 100 yards, and one touchdown. Let's do the damn thing. Damien well, he blocks the edge. I might have been out of there. I probably should have cut it up. Good run. Good run, though. Ooh. No night hasn't been done in a couple weeks. Who we got here? We got what's good, Pharrell, baby. Thank you for joining. Hit that like button on your way in. It's the Canes versus the Nose, big big homie. You got it. They beat us last year. We trying to get our dub back. Ooh. We trying to get our dub back. Turnt in the building. What's going on? Turnt tally. Let's go. Kane versus the Nose. Turnt was streaming. I don't know if he still is, so my bad, Turnt. I, I didn't realize you were streaming until I had already started. We got to get No Night back on and popping. I just been so... Oh, my God. Whew. I was almost a pick. We got to get No Night back on and popping. I just been so busy. But I will let you know when I'm ready to get that back. On and popping. Hit that like button, folks. Kane versus the Knowles. Tell all your Kane fans to get in here. Talk trash. Y'all are winning right now. Oh, and Terry dropped the ball. Let's see if we can get the field goal for the tie. These Canes always give me a tough game, man. These Canes always give me a tough game. Let me go ahead and sip this gin. I'm on I'm on the Seagrams tonight. I need Clemson to remain undefeated so when we play him, we can wax that ass. But I got to get past Miami first. And we tied up 10-10. FSU Miami. Classic rivalry. Turn say it's all good. I just better win this game. Hey. <laughs> I lost last last season. Hey, you know how they do. It's like against your rivals. It's like you can be, you can blow out every team. Like if you've watched the last three games, I've blown out North Carolina, Duke, Wake Forest. I'm going to get here to Miami, and they're going to put up, even though they're 2-2, two and two, not even ranked, and I'm the number four team, they're going to put up the toughest scrap because this game, like it, when it comes to rivals, it's going to make sure your rivalry game is like the toughest game. Come on, gamer. Ugh. All right. Third and one. Come on, man. I got eight people in here. 
Hit the like button. What's there not to like? You watching the canes in the nose. Oh, I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, my. So, Nikosi Perry is Cam Newton now. Asante, I need you to show up and get a pick for me. I think Asante Samuels had a pick in every game so far this season, so I need that to happen. Dennis in the building. Dennis say, FSU not winning this game. What's going on, Dennis? I always love to see my Kane fans in here. Kane fans who support a Seminoles channel. I love it. Hey, Dennis was good. We are definitely going to win this game, Dennis. Don't come in here with the hating. And turn telling me to keep make sure I blitz. <laughs> that was his advice. Make sure I blitz. Oh my god. Yeah, I blitz that time, turn. I blitz that time and look what happened. I'm gonna blitz again. Ugh, alright. Alright. Hit that like button, folks. Canes in the nose. Get in here and talk that trash. About to make me another drink. Oh, Miami and real. Hey, Dennis. Y'all boys recruiting, I see. I was talking about her earlier. Uh, I don't got a lot of good things to say about Miami, but I'll say this. Manny Diaz is recruiting his ass off. Y'all getting the big Palmetto, what is the Palmetto 4, the Palmetto 5? Y'all getting them. Corey Collier don't even have Florida State in his top three, which I find very interesting. Um, it's a disappointment, but I'll say this about that. FSU has two really good safeties in Tallahassee by the name of Amari Harvey and Terry on Arnold. We can narrow down, narrow into those two. We'll be all right. I think you know, Collier is a beast. I like him. Uh, dad played for Florida State, but, you know, again, kids aren't literally trying to leave the crib. Pittsburgh QB getting killed by my defense. Jalen, you got you to gotta put your uh, – Start recording your games, dude. <laughs> Why not, man? So we can watch them. Oh, look that offensive line is killing me. I got to start running the ball more. What y'all think? I need to run the ball more, right? Look at that. Look at what the 52. What were you doing? All right, second and 17. Again, just joining. I don't call the plays. What I mean by that is I don't pick the plays personally. I do ask coach. I ask Norvell for the play. Norvell give me the play, and I call it. I feel like if I was picking the same plays every game, you know, there's cheese plays that I can pick that I know will work regardless, so I don't do that. Norvell gives me these set of plays here, and I pick out of whatever's given. Third and nine, and I'm not. Here, we'll go with this one. We're going to Miami play. I believe all three Florida schools will be formidable. I think, here's the thing. So Florida's good because, oh, I call. I threw it to the wrong guy. I threw it to the wrong guy. Triangle's wide open. I press X. So what you just said, turn. Florida, let's talk about the Gators first, right? Here's my thing with the Gators. The Gators have been the best team in Florida for, what, the past three years. And the fact that they haven't been able to capitalize on the recruiting trail, I don't know how good Florida's going to be once Florida State and Miami start winning. Both Florida State and Miami have been 6-7 and seven teams, 6-7 and seven the last season. They, you know, they've been average to bad the last couple of seasons, in my opinion, both Miami and Florida State. 
Florida should be dominating the recruiting trail, and they're not. Miami's got the talent for right now. We'll see what happens during the season. Miami's known for having uh, being decommitment you. So we'll wait and see on Miami. I like what Manny Diaz is doing. He's getting their guys. Um, Florida State, Norvell, he's just got to win games. I think if you look at what this Norvell and this staff is doing, they can recruit. The problem they're having right now is selling recruits on what they're doing because they haven't. Norvell has had the toughest job in America being the first year head coach at Florida State in Florida. That's like the home of the pandemic and having trying to convince kids to come play. So, yeah. I, but I do think, I think it sets up good for all three. It, it's, it's great for college football if all three Florida schools are back to where they need to be. I got Dennis. Look at how Miami O-line pushing FSU around. Shut up. That's a pick. Oh, see, every time I play these canes, they treat. <sighs> damn it. Damn it, damn it. Paul, don't drink too much. Get FSU blue out of the bed. <laughs> Whatever, Daddy. Get the hell out of here. How do you show your game play in your face? So, Jalen, I use uh, OBS Studios for when I do my like live streaming. So... That's how I do it. They got a little way to maneuver around it. This game cheating. Well, Coach, he killing me. You see this? The game stay cheating. The game stay cheating me. I got 11 people in here, man. Hit that like button. This Canes versus the Knowles. 24 to 10. I'm getting whooped just like last year. Miami beat me last year. Offensive. Look at this. Offensive line can't do nothing. Look at this. My bad, I paused on accident. Let me pour, I'm gonna pour me a drink. I'm getting smashed. Oh my God. Offensive line. So my offensive line is still bad. I'm still working on recruiting the offensive line. Let's go Purdy. Oh, he shoots straight and tackled me. What it is, I'm gonna just run the ball, man. I think we get the ball at halftime. I'm gonna just run the ball, call it. We lost the first half, but we're gonna come back in that second half. All right, put James Blackman in. Boy, if you don't go sit down somewhere, I ain't putting James Blackman in. He's the backup for a reason. It's the Chubba Purdy show. Chubba gonna pull us out. Chubba's gonna pull it out. All right, third quarter. All right. This defense has been pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to focus on this running game. This offensive line, it can't hold the D-line right now. So I'm going to focus on this running game. See that? I'm, I'm going to focus on this running game. To open up the pass. I think that's a smart way to go about it. If you just joined in the live stream, man, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Dial up, say we'll see. Hey, don't doubt. It's the Chubba Purdy show. We in here. Uh, it's the Layborn show. Getting it in. The second half is going to be all Florida State. I'm telling you right now. I'm just going to kill you on the ground. I'm just going to kill you on the ground. And then the, the rest will open up. Oh! All right, good 
good, good run by Purdy. Now we're going to try to get this play action going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. This is the perfect opening drive for the second half. This is what we're talking about. Not getting pass happy, keeping it on the ground, thugging it out. <clears throat> thugging it out. Touchdown. Let's go. Let's go. We back in the game. Let's go. Let's go. Now we got to play some defense. Now we got to play some defense. Your running game, Nasty. Yeah, I'm a, I think I'm going to stick to the running game. We were killing them on that drive. They couldn't stop it. Now we got to play some defense, though. Let's go. That damn screen. Uh, good hit. Good hit by Gamer. Let's go. Third and seven. Let's get the stop. This is gonna this would be a great stop if we can get it. Alright. We're gonna hit the run run the blitz. Oh no! Mmm, quick pass. Run game will be nasty in real life. I think run game will be nasty in real life too. Uh Dial up, or how do you say your name? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? I think uh, if we got some great. We got a deep running game. The offensive line. If we can get a competent offensive line, which I I do expect a competent offensive line this year. I agree with you. Running game gonna be nasty. Bobby, what's going on, bro? Don't let us down, man. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Third and one. Let's go. What? Y'all see that? You see? You see how they cheat? <laughs> you see how they cheat? I got lucky. But come on. There's no way. But we, we forced a punt. Let's go, baby. Hit that like button. I got 10 people in here. Hit the like button, folks. What is it, almost 10 o'clock on the East Coast? It's still early, man. Hey, it feels like I'm back home. So, Hawaii is under hurricane watch. Supposed to get a hurricane, supposed to hit us in, uh, by Sunday, I think. So, this feels like home for me. Florida State, you know, Florida, we stay on hurricane watch, so... While, while the whole island is panicking, Hawaii don't really get that many hurricanes like that. So while the whole island's acting like, you know, the pop. What was that? Oh my God, they cheated. 
Did y'all see that? Did you just see that? We caught the ball. For <sighs> wow. Bro, they don't want me to be great. They don't want me to be great. You wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Caught the ball. Fumbles. Scoop and score. This game here, I tell you, man, when I play Miami, they do me like this all the time. They cheat me. They cheat me. That's crazy. We're going to come back. I'm not giving up. We're coming back. But, yeah, we under hurricane watch here in Hawaii. Like real life. So. I'm excited. Because that means I get to miss some work, hopefully. I'm like one of the few people that don't give a damn about no hurricanes. Tell you, man, these rivalry games. Oh, my God. These rivalry games, they cheat. That was a simple curl route. He catches the ball, fumbles, scoop, and score. Get out of here with that. Look at, look at my old line. We don't, oh, my God. Don't have a chance. This one dude got four sacks. Ooh, ooh, we got that one. That one's a little lucky. I hope they don't challenge that. Okay. Woohoo! All right, we good. We good. That one looked like it might have been out of bounds, but I guess he got the one foot in there, so I ain't mad. Go back to this running game, but I need to score. I need to score before the end of the third quarter. But this game, man. We're going to score. We're going to score. Touchdown. Ah. Chaba. All right. All in all, was Chubb was having a solid game. We just need another stop. We need a stop. We're going to just man it up. We're going to man it up for right now. I ain't going to blitz on first down. We're going to man up. Oh, we got a sack. Durden. I think that's Durden's second sack of the game. We'll go cover four here. I gotta watch the screen pass. They've been killing me on the screen pass all game. They didn't call it. Oh. Look at this. Look. Look, look at this. Damn it. Okay, so we're not gonna play soft. We're not going cover four anymore. We're gonna man. I'm manning up. I'm just gonna man up the rest of the game. Maybe do a zone blitz here or there. All right, Asante. Asante's been quiet this game.
overload. We're gonna blitz. We're gonna blitz. Oh, and they get me with the screen on the bruh. Like they knew I was blitzing. They hit me with a screen pass. Come on. Polk, I had to pour me another drink of this. Hey, I'm, I'm a Remy guy myself, so I'm, I'm with you, Dennis. But they're cheating. They are cheating. We can't do nothing. I can't get any interceptions. Turnover here would be clutch. Touchdown. Ha, uh, buddy. Telling you, man. Something about playing Miami. I don't know. But we got time. I got an answer right here, though. Run by where? Going no hug. We ain't got time to be playing. It's fourth quarter. I got to score, get a stop, and then score again. Look at that. Almost fumbled it away again. Wow. <laughs> Man, they are on some other stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Let's go. Damian Webb coming through in the clutch, even though he almost fumbled the game away. Let's go. Boy, I thought I threw a pick. But we got the quick score, which is exactly what I needed. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We still in there. We got to play some defense. I have to watch out for the screenplay. They kill me on the screenplay every single time. Let's go, Sack. All right. He dropped it. Let's go. All right, thirty fifteen. We get the ball back. 
We get the ball back. Y'all ain't disrespecting nothing, Dennis. You see what that defense doing right now. Jay dropped the pick. Come on, Travis. But that's okay. Because we get the ball back. Let's go. I don't need no timeouts yet, for real. I don't need no timeouts yet. We got four minutes. I'm good on the timeouts. We're going to score right here, tie it up. Don't need any timeouts yet. Turn, say, let go. Let's go, baby. He coming back. Offensive line is so bad. It almost makes me just say, look at this, Phillips has five sacks. I'm basically at the point where I'm just like, don't even throw the ball, man. Just run the ball every single play. We we can't do anything. I can't do anything with 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 it. As soon as I get ready to throw the ball, I'm getting hit. That's crazy. Huh. <sighs> Takes one sack and then you see what happens. Like the whole crazy, man. Terry's got him beat. Let's go. Let's go, Chava. Let's go. I saw it from the jump. Terry had him beat. Let's go. No, it ain't safe to say Miami back until y'all win something, Dennis. You got to win something first. You can recruit as well as you want. Remember, I already mentioned it. Randy Shannon recruited his ass off at Miami. I think they had the number three or number one class when Randy Shannon had it. It was one, two, or three when Randy Shannon came in there. Randy Shannon recruited Ja'Cory Harris. He had all them good boys. And what did they win? They didn't win a damn thing. It's good to recruit. Recruiting's half the battle, but you still got to win the games, bro. Miami ain't back till y'all win the games. And y'all about to lose this game right here. Y'all play this defense. Y'all doing a good job recruiting. I've already gave Manny his props. You you recruiting all that, that my all those South Florida boys, you're doing a good job keeping those boys there, and that's what you should do. Um that's the key to success for Miami, keeping all the South Florida talent home. Uh, but you still gotta win games. Not only that, but all those kids y'all recruiting right now, they're not gonna play this upcoming season. And I do fully expect there to be an upcoming season. As much as people want to be negative, um, I think these guys, the the Atlanta, I don't know who the exact person is, but Atlanta, the guys who run the Chick-fil-A kickoff classic has already came out and said, Ooh, Woodbang, let's go! Let's go, Woodbang! Uh, uh, let's go! But anyway... 
the guys in charge of the uh, Chick Fil A Classic has al- have already came out and said they haven't planned. Uh, that game is gonna happen. They're preparing for it like it's gonna happen. And they're taking the right measures for it to happen. Florida State's going to play West Virginia game one. That seems to be the, the case. Um, I think there's going to be a, a season. Now, you may get an all-conference se- an all conference type of season where maybe Florida State plays West Virginia and then the rest of the games are ACC games. I do think Florida State will play Florida this season as well. But there will be football games, college for sure. College. NFL for sure. NFL's already scheduled to, to show up on practice on time. NFL's happening. But um, you're going to see college too. I am 100% believing that you are going to see college football. Dennis got quiet after that pick. Oh no! Oh! Offensive lineman just scored a touchdown! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my controller came out. Hold on. <laughs> Bruh. I thought I fumbled it. I thought I fumbled it. And he hit. I went to pitch it. He. Hey, we got a little lucky there, but we'll take it, baby. Offensive line, one of the big boys just scored a touchdown. Let's go. 45-38. Man, this has been a hell of a game. I couldn't have picked a better game to do my first live stream. I couldn't have picked a better game to do my first live stream. There we go. Yeah, man. <laughs> Pharrell laughing, bro. They, got, they almost fumbled the game away, bro. Offensive line can't block. Exactly. My man, they can't block, but he can run a touchdown in. Ain't that crazy? All right. We get a, this is it, man. We get to stop here. The game's over. Dennis got quiet, man. Dennis was calm, man. He ain't saying nothing now. I hit him a little bit with that trip. Turk Tally, I ain't going no anywhere. <laughs> he said, I ain't going anywhere. All right, so Dennis still in there. I see him. But yeah, Dennis, the fact remains that on some real football talk, y'all doing a damn good job recruiting. But you got to win games first. And you got to keep those guys committed. Y'all go out here and y'all go six and seven again. Or even seven and six. You think a lot of those guys are going to stay committed? I don't know. I don't know. A screenplay. But I read this one. I read this screenplay. He still got five yards out of it. But I read that. I smell OT. I wouldn't be surprised, dial up. I wouldn't be surprised. Might get OT. Might get overtime. Oh! Oh, man! Demori T! That would have sealed the game, but it's fourth and four. Alright. We're gonna just. I'm just man up. We're gonna run man. They ain't got nobody that can beat us in the man up. It's sad this man Pope had a result. Cheat code? What did you talk about? He said cheat. Now that's a cheat code. Nicosi Perry doing that bull was a cheat code. But what cheat code I put in, man? Come on, bro. <laughs> Dennis like, I used the cheat code. We just beat beat Pete. We just beat Pitt 64-7. Man, Jalen, you got that thing on uh on rookie or something. Jalen playing the game on rookie. There's no way he'd be 64 to 6. He playing the game on rookie. I guarantee you. Either that or he got FSU 99 overall. And 
Dennis Thomas I'm gonna put in cheat code. This nigga uh, Perry Keith. Time running though. The more Perry runs, I think that's the best. That's 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 better. Cause time is ticking. Oh shit. Uh, time is ticking. Keep running, Perry. Time is ticking. 20 seconds left. Let's go. Oh, my. Bro, y'all ain't see that. And then he don't ever fumble the ball. I just hit him with Lars Woodbay. Huge hit. No fumble. I fumbled, I fumbled like three times so far this game. Ugh. And then Miami's stupid. They got one timeout left and they ain't even used it. Let's go. Ooh, they got three seconds left. All right, y'all. This is the game. This is the game. Three seconds left. Three seconds left. They have to get in the end zone right here. They have no timeouts left. This is what it's coming down to. Oh my God! And, oh, we stopped him. We got <laughs> on the one yard line. FSU pulls it out. Yes, sir. In an ESPN classic. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Five consecutive wins. Still number four in the nation. We get our revenge on the Canes. And there's a ghost carrying the football right there. Purdy, player of the game. Four total touchdowns. Let's go. Let's go. We still in here, man. We can keep on streaming as far as I'm concerned. Let me see who we play next. I might keep the stream going. I'm having fun. If y'all really, if y'all down to stay watching, I'm down to keep streaming, baby. But just know we whooped them canes, though. We whooped them canes. T24, tell him we whooped them canes. All of them guys came on my all came on my comments last season and talked trash after I lost. I want them in the stream right now. Bring them in the stream right now. That was a good game, y'all. That was a good game. I had fun with that one. I had fun with that one. Miami ends up two and three on the season. FSU goes to five and zero. Oh. Let's see who we play next. It's still early on the East Coast, man. What is it? Ten twenty? Y'all still up? Don't go nowhere. Stick with me. <sighs> we play NC State. NC State is the next game. I don't know. Should I play it or not? Not too sure. What y'all want? Y'all want me to keep going the stream or you want to end the stream right here and call it a night? Y'all let me know. I'm going to do what y'all say. I thought that was a damn good first game, though, for my first live stream on this, on this series. I thought that was a damn good first game. I thought I was going to lose for a second. I'm not going to lie. I thought Miami was going to get me again. But we pulled it out, baby. We pulled it out. Dennis, where you at, bro? Y'all lost. I don't see you, Dennis. Did you leave? Dennis probably left. Jalen said he tried to get those rosters. I'm going to do that. Good run by Coast. Dennis, don't talk about Coast. Who cares? Talk about what we just did. 
Talk about us winning. Give credit where it's due. I gave credit to Manny Diaz recruiting. You can't even give credit to me whooping that ass. Dennis, you're a hater. Seagram's gin. Pretty dot, pretty solid stuff. Call it a night. You had the too many drinks. <laughs> the crazy thing about it, man, Pharrell, here in Miami. I said Miami. Here in Okay, we got a uh we got a commit from look at that. We got a commit from Glenn 78 overall cornerback. That's good stuff right there. And we got a, a offensive lineman commit and a running back commit. So we, we did a little bit. We got a little bit of, uh, we got a couple commits over the weekend after beating Miami. But for real, the crazy thing is, in, uh, over here in Hawaii, it's only 4 o'clock. It's, it's early, bro. So I don't know if I want to call it tonight. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to play another game. If y'all want to stick around and watch me play NC State, go ahead. But I want to live stream this Miami game because when I lost to Miami last season, I had a lot of people in my comment section talking that trash. Now they they quiet. They ain't even want to join the live stream. Turn say Pope. Ham just got another lottery pick. Bro, Ham Turn. Ham is killing it. Ham is killing it on the recruiting trail. FSU, we're kind of ho-hum football-wise. We're not bad on recruiting, but I, I would like to see them do a little better. But I think for what we for what we've been dealt with, Norvell's doing a solid job recruiting. But Leonard Hamilton is killing it. He's getting five stars, bro. He's getting five stars. Leonard Hamilton is killing it. Let's get to this coaching tree. We're gonna update Norvell's recruiting, and we are gonna go with uh, what's this? Let's go with scout. No, 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 no. Let's go with Scout. Alright. Uh, Dennis says Nikosi, the comeback kid on FSU. Nikosi just lost, Dennis. Shut up. Number two shooting guard in the country. Number three shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Leonard Hampton's killing it, bro. Turn Leonard Hamilton is killing it. Leonard Hamilton is killing it. And I am so excited for Florida State basketball going forward. I'm excited for football as well, but I think basketball. Leonard Hamilton's recruiting at a at a clip that I think, like, if FSU don't win a championship, like, I hate to say this because we're not a traditional basketball school, right? So I don't, I don't want to act like we're uh, North Carolina or Duke, but... Leonard Hamilton is recruiting at a clip that where if he doesn't at least get a championship appearance, a Final Four appearance, I would say it's a failure. Like Leonard Hamilton is recruiting like he's recruiting that well. In my in my that's just my opinion on it. I know a lot of people might have different opinions because again, Florida State isn't a basketball school, so they're just happy. You know, they just might be happy with elite like the the Sweet Sixteen or maybe the Elite Eight. But I'm thinking Final Four bust. When talking about Florida State, that's just how I feel, though. Pharrell say true that. Dennis say bunch of crap. Dennis, what you mad for? What you mad for? All right. So let's get to this recruiting. Let's go to quarterbacks. As you see, Luke Altmeyer committed to Texas. What the hell? So we missed out on Luke Altmeyer. And then Caleb Williams out of D.C. We're not going to be able to get him, obviously. He's locked us out. Oh, maybe we can... Right now, Bama leads for him. We're number two. So we're going to try to get Caleb Williams. I'm going to put a bunch of points in him. And we'll go to running backs. We should already have one running back committed. And Brian Carter. He's not a great prospect. We're trying to get Trevion Henderson. We're still in the mix there. We're going to max him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll put him to 500, not 550. Um, wide receivers. We got Mario Williams. Kazon. Still in the mix. Joey Pollard. And we 
we've got Carpenter right here. So we'll, we'll offer Carpenter the scholarship. And uh, we'll throw him 200. Tight end, we probably gonna miss out on this five star. Toledo. I don't like this game has a weird way of having like Toledo. As, as a Toledo, the leader for a five star, a tight end. Turn say me too. Yeah, I, I think you're talking about like uh, Leonard Hamilton, bro. I think I'm talking about like Final Four bust. I'm not saying we have to win a national championship, right? Because basketball is different. Team like Duke and Kansas and the, the Blue Bloods of college basketball are always going to be in the mix. Uh, but I think FSU has the talent to at least be Final Four bus. We're still in the mix for Latham. We're still in the mix for Seymour. We're leaving for Seymour, actually, which is good to see. Worry about that. Alex Matthews, all right. So, y'all see recruiting efforts. We're not really in the mix for any elite type of defensive tackle. Um, not recruiting any outside linebacker. Trying to get this middle linebacker. 79 overall. Where are we? Where are we in the mix for him? <laughs> UAB leads. I'm gonna max him out. I'm gonna put, give him 500 points. We're gonna try to get this Jason Clark out of Alabama. And then we got Glenn Thompson, and we're still leading for James Allen. Strong safety. So we we landed Col uh, Corey Collier last year. But I decided to redshirt him because we're pretty good at the safety position. We're leaving for Dale Davis. We're second for Reggie Green. Second for DJ Keyes. And we're leading for Ryan Bell. So we are right here as we continue to try to recruit and get this thing in the right. Dennis says a bunch of crap. I guess Dennis is mad that Miami got their asses whooped. But if you in here, man, you sticking around, hit that like button. Uh, I feel good because <laughs> we just beat Miami in a hell of a game. That was a fun game. NC State is five and one, so that's a that might be a good game right there. I'm gonna play it in a minute. Let's take a look at the the, the um, take a look at the top twenty five. Let's do that. Let's take a look at the top twenty five. We're still number four. Notre Dame still number five. That's a game we do have Notre Dame on the schedule. That's a huge game going forward. Obviously, we have Clemson on the schedule. Clemson is still number one. LSU, Bama. Florida State, Notre Dame, and then the rest of the top 25 here. Uh, no other Florida teams, obviously, other than I think UCF is in the top 25. Heisman Watch. It's pretty cracked the Heisman Watch. Oh, there you go. Trevor Purdy at number five on the Heisman Watch. You love to see it. Look at those numbers. Look at this. Those are his freshman numbers. Where he threw 31 touchdowns and 15 picks. This year he's going for 18 and 2, 1,500 yards so far, and rushing. So he's not rushing as well as he was last year. But he's still got 200 yards and two touchdowns. Um, Purdy, he cracks the top five in. The Heisman watch. We are trying to get Purdy that Heisman baby. I'm going to show you the roster. But since we're doing live, I want to show you guys the live roster. And I'll show you. Um, I don't be cheating, man. I just, I just do what it do. Purdy was a 78 last year. He's all the way up to 90. Blackman is 85. That's the freshman quarterback I signed last year. As you can see, he's red-shirted. But that's the future right there. Look at that dude. 6'5", 
230, runs at 89. That is the future. Nick Harris. And then you got Rotomaker right here. There's all our running backs. So we had Corey Wren and we had Ja'Kai Douglas. Both of those guys transferred last year, which sucks. But the fullback, I don't recruit fullbacks, but that's our lone our fullback because we don't use a fullback. Here's our receiver, Tamori on Terry. Decided to stay for his senior year, so that's why he's 99 overall. Keyshawn Helton, Warren Thompson, Brian Robinson, Jordan Young. As you can see, I moved Jordan Travis to wide receiver, baby. I figured we weren't going to use him at quarterback. We could at least, you know, see, put him at receiver, see if we ever get anything out of him. So you got Jordan Travis at receiver. You got Dorsey as a, uh, that's our freshman five-star um, wide receiver. And Eddie Mitchell. There's our tight end. We got a transfer tight end, but he obviously uh, had a sit out a year. So Brett Seether. But Cam McDonald's a starter, followed by Wyatt Rector and Carter Boatwright. This is where we just offensive line, man. Hold on. I might be having some problems streaming, guys. Hold on. I want to make sure we good. Looks like we good. I'm still streaming. If y'all having a problem seeing the stream, let me know. But because I just got a message, but it looks like I'm good. YouTube is not. I think we good. I think we all right. I just commented anything. Okay, so let's go. Offensive line. Right now, Brady Scott. I decided to move him to left tackle. And there's offensive line. He's got Robert Scott. Robert Scott's probably going to be the future. I mean, we got Chaz Neal, but he'll be a senior. And he won't be any much, you know, I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Offensive line is still a, I mean, Dante Lucas is by far the best offensive lineman that I'm working with. We got uh, freshman Corey Hawkins, who I redshirted, and Zach Heron. Center, uh, that's a JUCO center in John Adams, that he is the starter, and Thomas Schrader. Maurice Smith at the other guard, Ira Henry. As, as you can see, our offensive line is definitely the weakest part of this team. And we got Lloyd Willis and Darius Washington. And then another freshman in Kyle Ford. So we got a couple. Um, a couple guys here, Dennis Briggs, Josh Griffiths, and Quayshawn Fuller. Those are the two, you know, that's the future of the position. Kando stayed for his senior year. And McClendon is uh, right there. You got Durden who started to stay. Cooper decided to stay. So that's our two. And then going forward, we'll have True Thompson, Manny Rogers. Jarrett Jackson, Fabian Lovett. We are pretty stacked at defensive tackle. Gainer, I've moved Brandon Gant from safety to linebacker. Emmett Rice, decided to stay for his senior year. McCray, Deloach, Lundy, Deloach, you know. Oh, sound like my, my sound like my boy is up. And then KB on the win, Steven Dix. Corner, Asante Samuel, King Dent. Demore Tate as a sophomore is already at 88. And we didn't sign any I didn't sign any well, I signed this one guy right here, Gavin Johnson, but he was a JUCO. And we didn't sign any uh freshman corners. Um, but we did sign Corey Collier, who 82 overall. But as you can see, we're loaded at the safeties position. And uh, so I redshirted him. 
Might move him to strong safety next year because Wood Bay is having a season. There you go, baby. There you go. That is the roster. And why not? We here. We live. Nobody's commenting, but y'all still watching. So, we're going to play NC State because I'm having the ball. And for this game, Ooh, NC State's got a kind of a solid squad. Look at that, 90, 91, okay. They are 5-1, and one, so NC State has a solid squad. I'm running the All Blacks. I'm going with the All Black Unis. We're going to do a blackout game. Yeah, we're going to run the All Blacks. NC State, you're going to go with the All Whites. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go pee real quick, and I'll be right back. We're going to get this NC State game popping on this live stream. Let's go. John Harris visiting. We don't have any injuries, but they got two injuries. Let's go. Let's get it. You should do a road to glory. You think so, Jalen? I thought about doing a road to glory, but I don't know if people really want to see me do a road to glory. So I've thought about Jalen. I've actually thought about just doing like a. I got my Seminole channel, which is my first. And my son is here, but I got my Seminole channel, which is my, my, uh, obviously that's why I got started. I thought about doing like a gaming channel too. So I may do that. Oh, I may do a road to glory, Jane. Y'all say hello to the, to the baby, the baby known. Let's go. NC State. Florida State. This is good because this means I don't have to edit the NC State Florida State game. I can do two games in a live stream and call it a wrap. Alright, so we'll get the ball first. Pope. I have a problem with you cheating on bruh. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't cheat, man. Your boys just We got that championship heart and we pulled it out at the end. That's what happened. We didn't cheat. You know it and I know it. We pulled it out. We literally beat y'all. Y'all had a came within a yard of taking that thing into overtime. That was that was a fun game that I had fun. I had fun with that game. Oh. We're about to see how good the NC State. Oh, Notre Dame's playing a tough team in Stanford. Have you played Clemson yet? Nope, dial up. I haven't played Clemson yet. Clemson's still number one in the nation. We're both undefeated. I have not played Clemson yet. So. But I play Notre Dame. Notre Dame is number. Five in the nation. So I got Clemson and Notre Dame still left to play. We got some couple big games left. We got a couple big games left, bro. So we still in here. Ooh. 
Let's go. You have a good net? My son likes watching the games. This kid's gonna be a diehard, guys. I appreciate y'all for sticking around with me, man. If you still in here watching your boy, man, hit the like button. We having fun tonight. I haven't done a live stream. I know I used to do, so I used to do Saturday night lives a lot. Haven't done that in a while. Haven't really done any live streams. Haven't done any videos lately. Um, but, you know, the last two days, I did a video on Jake Slaughter decommitting and our new recent commitment. And I've done the Wake Forest game. So I'm trying to catch up. I, ooh, Chubba Purdy with the beast move. Just trying to catch up, man. I was busy really the last two weeks, man. I had a, had a busy schedule. Wasn't able to release the content like I normally would. So we playing catch up and we having fun. So I'm here on the live stream. If you want to see more of these game live streams, let me know. I'm definitely down to do it. Let me know. Bet I want to catch that Clemson and BC game when you do it. When, when you do usually post these. So... This is so that, this is my first live stream of this series. I usually just record the games off camera. Um, then I edit the videos or whatever, post them. So let me know. Do you want to see a live stream of the cleansing game, or would you rather do it like how I usually been doing it? I'm down for whatever. I knew I wanted to do a live stream of Miami because I know I have some Miami fans who follow me. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted, I wanted to get that rivalry trash talk going. That's what I wanted. So that was my whole goal here. Son, what are you doing? Um, but if y'all want to see Clemson live, let me know. Y'all want to see Notre Dame live, let me know. I'm down for all of that. I'm talking to y'all, and I just missed the field goal. <laughs> I love the black unis. Yeah, they look pretty clean on the game. We, we decided to go with the blackout. But I mess around with y'all. I done messed up and Purdy got hurt, as you see. Ugh. So now we got to try to beat NC State. NC State's actually a pretty decent team. So if you're not careful... Lose. Damn. All right. How about live stream the great games with the trash teams you can record? I'm down with that, Jalen. That makes sense. The big games, live stream them. When I play, you know, freaking Boston College or something, I, I, I get that. That makes sense, even though I think Boston College is ranked. So basically, I'll do, like, the ranked games or something like that. I'll record those games or I'll stream those ones. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. Like, the, the other games, I won't. Makes sense. I like that idea, Jalen. I'll just do the big games. Give me that. Give me that. Dick. Give me that. Ah, uh, uh, give me that. Let's go. Keen dead with the pick. That just reminds me. That's another thing I want to mention. Florida State. A keen dead. Not a keen dead. Fabian Lovett, Jerry and Jones have been granted immediate eligibility for the upcoming season. That's big news. That's great news. Let's go, Laybourne. That's good news. 
Our secondary, that means just, our secondary just gets that much nastier. And Fabian Lovett's going to add some real big time depth. We already got, we're already really like three deep on that defensive interior. With uh, Marv, Durden, and Coop. You know, Fabian Lovett can push True Thompson for those other, for them, for them snaps. That's good stuff right there. Ugh, they didn't block right there. So FSU's got some good news uh, as far as eligibility goes. Um, we've got some good stuff coming up. Ooh, Purdy just threaded the needle right there. I thought that might have been a pick. He pulled that one out. Mm. Layborn. All right, Layborn getting it in. See, the chat's a lot quieter now because nobody cares about NC State. Oh, Purdy! Purdy, take it off! Let's go, Purdy! Uh, Purdy took it all away for the touchdown. Chaba! Chaba! <laughs> there you go. 98 yards. Purdy caps it off with a touchdown. Let's get it. Chaba, say it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's make an example out of NC State. We've been whooping all these North Carolina schools. North Carolina we blew out. Duke, we blew out. Wake Forest, we blew out. NC State's the last of the Mohicans. Let's blow them out too. Still got Notre Dame on the schedule. Still got Clemson. And of course, we still got Florida. Now, I don't think any Gator fans are uh, subscribed to me or, or, or follow me. Ooh, wide open. Come on. Man. I know Miami fans support the channel. I appreciate you guys. You like to talk, they trash. But at the end of the day, if you support the channel, you can talk all the trash you want. We can talk trash to each other. Gator fans, I don't even think they, you uh, we do any of that. What's going on, Michael Ellis? What's going on, homie? Glad to see you. You just doing a little bit of gaming. You just, you missed FSU versus Miami. That was a hell of a game. You missed it. Uh, right now, I'm playing NC State. Five and one NC State, so NC State is a is a solid. They got a solid team this year, but I expect us to handle them pretty easily. But thanks for joining, Mike. At the end of the first quarter, we got seven zip. Let's get this stop right here. <laughs> Hit that like button if you need. Can't hit the like button. Do me a favor, at least share it. 
Tell your friend, tell your friends, say, hey, there's this weird Florida State dude who plays video games and talks Florida State football. You should check him out. Tell your friends. Tell whoever to check me out. As we try to get this NC State win. Good defense. That's a good defense by NC State. Good coverage, and they had the pass rush. Man, my son's acting crazy. Stop now. So we're playing the defense, but offensively, we can't really get it clicking. Size right there because I got a kid that won't stop. Go back to sleep. Adrian. Let's go. Look at this. NC State trying to pick us apart. I know it's getting late on that East Coast. Y'all are going on, what, 11 o'clock? It's not even late. That's still early. It's still early. Hold to a field goal, that'd be a win. For sure. Come on. They're going to make this game tough for no reason. drinking man what y'all drinking tonight me I got some Seagrams I got some gin it's an old classic for me decided to give it a shot I think Dennis said he was on that VSOP what about 
the rest of y'all. What y'all drinking tonight? If you're drinking, and if you're not drinking, you need to start drinking. Touchdown. <laughs> All right, NC State. I see ya. Green Boise State beating up FSU. We don't play Boise State no more. Already played Boise. Whoop them up. But don't worry, I will be streaming Miami every single season, Dennis. As long as I keep this going, so you can bet that. You talking like y'all didn't lose the FIU I'm trying to bring Boise into the conversation. Y'all lost the FIU. At least Boise has accomplished something in college football. What has FIU ever accomplished? Boise beat Oklahoma. Turn it down. Oh, go on, go on. Is that good? Is that good? Uh, let's go, Terry. Oh, he dropped it. your hand if you lost a recruit to Kansas. Bro, if you're talking about Coleman, one, FSU still actively recruiting him, but okay, Dennis, since you want to go there, why do you, why did Coleman choose Kansas over Florida State? Let's talk about it. Coleman is a dual sport player. He plays basketball and football. He's a two guard. If you haven't been paying attention, FSU just recruited uh, five, what, like two five star two guards. Bruh, come on now. If you're a Corey Coleman and you really wanted to play basketball, you know you're probably not going to get on the court at Florida State basketball wise. FSU basketball wise, they're recruiting. So come on, Dennis, you know better than that. Let's have intelligent conversation. And I still think there's a chance they can grab Corey Coleman. I do. Depending on if that young man decides whether he wants to actually play football or basketball. Um, but he obviously chose basketball for the Kansas. I mean, come on. 
He chose Kansas for the more basketball part of it. Like, that's, I get that, but let's be real now. Yeah. He knew he wasn't coming to Florida State to play no basketball. But I know, right, that's what y'all Miami fans, y'all can talk about recruiting right now, because, again, ain't no, there's no hate in my blood. Y'all are killing it on the recruiting trail right now in terms of what y'all usually do. Yeah. Manny Diaz is doing his thing. You guys are still in the mix for Corey Collier or um, all of those my South Florida kids. For uh, I said Corey Collier for Leonard Taylor. Like Y'all are still in the mix for a lot of these kids, and that's a big deal. I get it. I give Miami credit for a lot of that. I do. I give y'all credit. They ain't going to play this upcoming season, though. So I hope y'all win some games or you're going to see a bunch of decommits. But congratulations so far on what Miami has done thus far recruiting-wise. You talk of recruiting because that's all y'all can talk. We had the same record last year. We might get the ball. Okay, we're going to get the ball back. We might be able to get something going. But the best wide receiver in Louisiana is Pazon. And, oh, I believe Florida State's going to land Pazon, by the way, since you want to bring up um, recruiting and losing Corey Coleman, who's a Louisiana kid, too. I expect fully well for us to land Destin Pazon. Uh, he visited FSU this weekend. So I'll be interested to see if he doesn't commit very soon. And I hope he does. Kid's electric. Terry! Let's touch down. Stop. We're going to blow these boys out the water. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Sipping on gin and juice. Hey, first time here, Raptor 2.0. This is my first time seeing you, man. I appreciate you joining the stream, homie. Um, I don't know if you're a Florida State fan or you're just a uh, NCAA fan. Either way. Oh, shit. Bro, my camera just took a tumble. <laughs> Camera just fell, man. Anyway, Raptor, like I was saying, thank you for joining, man. Um, hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. I thank you for joining. Um, if you're an NCAA fan, man, hey, thank you for coming in. I do these videos. However, this is a Florida State channel. We are Florida State all the time, 24-7. Polk County, no West, who you turned into. And, uh, but I, I appreciate you for joining in, bro. I really don't have a favorite team. I just like NCAA 14. That's what's up, Raptor. So you're probably one of the dudes from the uh, from the a Facebook group that I joined, the NCAA group. And I again, I appreciate you for joining. I do these videos all the time. This is actually season two. So if you want, go check out season one. But this is actually my first live stream. This one was pretty successful, so I think I'll do more live streams in the future. But I really appreciate 
you joining Raptor. Appreciate you tuning in. Right now we got Florida State versus NC State. You missed the big game. We had FSU versus Miami. Came down to a wire. And we beat Miami by a yard, literally. We beat them by a yard. They almost scored on the last play of the game by a yard. So you missed that. That was a good ass, uh, good ass game. So and by the way, I got my drink. If you drinking, let me know what you drinking. Me, got the Seagram's. Seagram's gin. And I'm not really much of a gin. I don't usually drink gin. More of a dark guy, but decided to go with the gin today for whatever reason. I'm not too mad. Just sub. And also, I don't have a Facebook, LOL. Also, NC State always sucks in this game, so they should be an easy win. So NC State's actually like five and one uh, so far this season, and you don't have a Facebook, so you must, so you didn't join me from the Facebook group. But anyway, the fact that you found the channel, man, that's what's up, man. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. And again, I appreciate the sub, bro. One thing about me, I always interact with the people that subscribe to me. I like having fun. I like interacting with the people because I'm a small channel, but we have a lot of fun. I put out a lot of content. Um, where are you from? You say you don't have a favorite team, but you got to be from somewhere. You got to have a team that you kind of like, kind of don't like. So let me, you know, put all that in the chat. You can't like college football and don't root for somebody, bro. You got to root for somebody, Raptor. But again, I appreciate your support. Come on, goddammit! Here we go. Let's go. The fact that you even found the channel is great. <laughs> Dennis, I don't have a cheat code. You just mad that I beat your boys. I beat your boys. Dial up says, Do you have a team builder team saved on your PS3? Um. Dialogue. No, I don't have a team builder team. Um, that's another thing, though. Like, if you have this game on the PS3, let me know. Um, we can do, like, an online dynasty. I'm down with all of that type of stuff. So, by all means, let me know. We can do all of that. Um, but I don't have a team builder team. I just recently started playing this game again. But I... I I've been having fun with it. Um, but whatever you guys want to do, I am with it. I'm down for it. Raptor, do not listen. Oh, I just threw a pick. God damn it. Raptor, do not listen to Dennis. Dennis is a hater. He's a Kane fan, and he's a hater. I don't cheat. Don't have to cheat. You should get one so we can go head to head. Hell yeah. 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 We can do that. I don't. When you say team builder team, I'm not even sure. I don't think I've ever done that, so I'm not even sure how that works. God damn it! I'm talking to y'all. Um, this dude running for a million yards. Um. So I'll put my uh, hold on. Let me. I'll put my PSN in the chat. And then y'all can add me. So I'm down with all that. Like down with. Online dynasties and all that. You can definitely get on that. Have some fun. And, uh, hell yeah. Oops. 
Let's go. Who? Let's go. Got the fumble while I'm out here actually trying to get y'all my uh, information. Put the PSN in the chat. Let's go, more Thompson, baby. Out of bounds. Hold on. Try to get y'all my uh. Let me type in my PSN real quick. Don't judge my PSN. I made it when I was. A young boy, and it's been the same ever since. So, but that's my PSN right there. Yeah, my camera just fell off the damn thing again. Hold on, Jesus Christ! What am I doing wrong? Stay right there. What do you keep falling for? So, Raptor says, I grew up a Penn State fan, but I went to Oregon for college, so I like them now. But I dropped out since I, <laughs> it was too much money. Yeah, those colleges are expensive, man. For real. Um, so you live in Buffalo now. Okay, that's what's up, Raptor. So we'll, we'll say you grew up a Penn State fan, so I'm going to say you're a Penn State fan. But, yeah, those colleges are expensive, especially a college like Oregon. Hell, yeah. Polk, the next time you and I, you and Turn Tally do a live stream together, talk about how FSU losing recruits to Kansas and Florida. First of all, we didn't lose anybody to Florida. Yes, Slaughter decommitted and went to Florida, but Slaughter isn't the type of prospect that isn't replaceable. Slaughter's replaceable. Like, he's the 600th player in the nation. So we're good. We're good on that. You know what I'm saying? So, come on, Dennis. Don't do that. And as far as Kansas goes, I already explained that one, so I'm not going to explain that again. I know how you do, Dennis. You just like to troll me. I like Penn State and Oregon, but I don't have a favorite. Well, I'm going to call you a Penn State fan, Rapper, whether you like it or not. I also like Florida State since my brother went there. Oh, that's what's up. His brother went there for college. That's what's up. Raptor, Oregon coach coming back home to Miami. Just watch. Why would why would he come back to Miami when he's got something good at Oregon? Y'all got Manny Diaz. What are you talking about, Dennis? That doesn't even make any sense. Rap, I don't even know why you're entertaining Dennis. Dennis, he's a Miami fan, so he likes to talk his talk his trash. Hold on, did you like Willie Taggart? Oh, Raptor, ask me the Taggart question. All right. So I don't like bringing up Taggart, but Raptor, you asked, so we're gonna talk about Willie Taggart. I'm be honest with you, Raptor. I don't know if you're black, white. Asian, Hispanic, whatever. As a young black man, I wanted Taggart to be successful. I'm not going to lie to you and say anything different. I liked, I liked the hire. I was excited about the hire. I wanted Taggart to be great. I wanted him to be successful. That is the facts. After seeing what Taggart produced... You're new to the channel, just go back, check the channel, 
After that Miami game last year, I called for Taggart Ted. I didn't want him here no more. I had seen enough of Willie Taggart. Um, the facts are, Taggart wasn't a good head coach. He didn't manage personnel. He didn't manage his coaching staff well. There's a lot of blunders that Taggart had as a just a coach. I think Taggart's a good man. I think Taggart was an FSU fan. Ooh, damn. I think Taggart had all the recipe to be a good coach for Florida State, except the fact that he wasn't a good coach, if that makes any sense. Um, he dropped the ball on a lot of things, not to get into any details, but initially I did like Willie Taggart, and I'm not going to lie to you and pretend like I didn't. Um, however, by the time I would say the first season, I was like, okay, that was his first season. I understand it. Um, by the time, I would say by like the Wake Forest game of the previous season, Virginia, Wake Forest, -ish, I was ready for Taggart to go. I had seen all I needed to see. I knew he wasn't doing or getting the job done, so to speak. So, you know, don't want to talk too much about Taggart. I try not to bring him up too much. Um, I know this fan base is tired of hearing about him, but you did ask the question, so I'm going to honor your question and answer it. I was a Taggart fan. And I'm still a fan of his, honest. I, I want him to see, I think he'll do great things at FAU, and I want to see him do great things at FAU, if I'm being honest with you. Um, he just wasn't a fit for Florida State. Raptor is is Raptor. It's where winning all started for him. Gee. Willie Taggart robbed everything for millions and then left them bankrupt. So we're not bankrupt. So Dennis, kiss my ass. <laughs> but he did get us. A, he did a, a, get a little get some good little money out of us. That's for sure. Dennis, for the short time I knew you, you actually said something correct. <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. I know. I know. Oregon guys don't like Taggart because after one, I don't. And I don't blame Oregon guys for not liking Taggart because after one year, you come to a school for one year and then leave. Yeah, I completely understand why you don't like Taggart. No different than what Lane Kiffin. Remember Lane Kiffin did that to Tennessee. Lane Kiffin went to Tennessee for a year. And then Lane Kiffin left Tennessee for USC. So it's not unprecedented what Willie Taggart did. But I understand why Oregon guys don't like uh, Willie Taggart. But to be honest, Oregon, we did you guys a favor. Um, even though I think Oregon, he had a better coaching staff at Oregon. I think... Where I think he completely dropped the ball at Florida State with the guys he hired. I really do. I'm surprised you stuck around, Dennis, after I whooped them hurricanes. Where your boy John Shields at, Dennis? He usually be around here talking trash. I ain't seen him lately. Uh... Raptor says, surprisingly, my two favorite players are not on Oregon or Penn State. They are Kenneth Gainwell from Memphis and Rashard Bateman from Minnesota. Also, yes, I don't like Taggart. Yeah, I figured you don't like Taggart. Again, I don't blame a, uh, I don't blame Oregon fans for not liking Willie Taggart. Taggart left after one year and you know made a lot of promises that he didn't see fit. I would I would say this to Oregon fans on on like on some real stuff. Can you blame Willie Taggart for leaving Oregon for his dream job? I don't think you can blame him. I think um, anybody, whether it's me, whether it's Raptor, whether it's Dennis, we would leave whatever job we currently hold for our dream position. And I think that's what Taggart did. Now, Taggart just turned out that he didn't 
he didn't cut it. He, he wasn't good enough to be at FSU. Right? There's no denying that. But I don't think you can blame Taggart. As a matter of fact, the type of, the type of offense that Taggart calls fits the Pac-12 way more than it fits the ACC. Because no defense is played in the Pac-12. Willie Taggart fits the Pac-12. He never didn't fit the ACC. We saw that. Um, and the only thing I would say to Oregon fans, I know you don't like them. I don't blame you. But ask yourself, would you leave a job? None of you would hesitate leaving your job right now if whatever your dream job is called you today and said, hey, we want to offer you X millions of dollars to come, pl to, to come work for us right now. So I just think you have to you know, keep that in perspective. Taggart's a human being. I do believe he grew up a Florida State fan, and I do believe Florida State was his dream job, and that's why he did what he did. Well, us Oregon fans are actually happy he left. Crystal Ball is easily better, and yeah, I understand that, but still, it was messed up. Yeah, right, I agree with you. Crystal Ball is better. I'm not going to doubt. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend like he's not. Crystal Ball is a better fit. He's the better. He's just a better coach, period. And... It worked out for you guys in the end. So that's why you guys, you know, you guys, it worked out for you guys in the end. Um, and it's, it's messed up from a work, from, from, from a recruiting standpoint, from a fan base standpoint, when a guy tells you, hey, I'm here for the long haul, when he's telling recruits, hey, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere, and then he ends up bolting after one year, I definitely get it, bro. All I say to that, again, is if it was you, if it was Raptor 2.0, and your dream job is, I don't know, Apple, but you work at Microsoft, and Apple calls you, and you've only been working at Microsoft for three days, and Apple calls you on the fourth day and says, hey, come play, come work for us, would you turn it down? I, I guarantee you, you want it. That's all I got to say. Um, as far as FSU and Willie Taggart goes, it was time for him to go. Um, I'm not mad that he left. Excuse me, he didn't leave. I'm not mad that he got fired. I had seen enough of Willie Taggart. He just wasn't fit to cut. He wasn't fit to be a FSU coach. And Leighborn doing a good job here in this game. Dennis says, Raptor, don't be surprised when Mario Cristobal comes back home to Miami. I don't think that's going to happen, Dennis. Then why are you such in a hurry to get rid of Manny Diaz? See, that's, Dennis, you're telling on yourself. You're telling on yourself, Dennis, because you know Manny's a terrible coach. Manny's a good recruiter, but you know he sucks as a coach. And you know, Dennis, that even with all this recruiting he's doing, Manny Diaz needs to be a better coach. You can have all the recruits you want, but if you ain't good enough to coach him, it doesn't matter. And you know, Dennis, I can tell by your comments, you know Manny Diaz ain't cut out to be the coach. So that's why you're saying that, and that's why you want Cristobal back so bad. Bing! Gotcha, Dennis. Thank you. Raptor, do you like Florida State going to white numbers, son, the home jerseys? And Dennis, I will be pissed if that happens. Also, you can just call me Raptor. It's only 2.0 because my other account was hacked. <laughs> yes. FSU should have never went away from their white numbers, uh, Raptor. I'm so happy we're going back to the traditional white numbers. We look too much like Boston College with the gold numbers. So I am happy we're going back to what we... Um, I'm, I'm happy that the, the uniforms are making a more traditional look. I was pissed when FSU changed the logo. I know they want to do a more modern look, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the classic logo for Florida State is where it's at. We are one of those programs where the spear and the classic logo was the program. I don't care what. You can like whoever you like. FSU has the best helmets in college football, bar none. I don't care what anybody says. 
And I thought when they messed with the uniform, it kind of dampered the whole Florida State look. So I'm happy with going back to our, our, our white numbers for sure. When Miami get Mario Cristobal back to recruiting, really will be all out of the roof. West Coast boys mixed with Florida boys. Dennis, are you have you given up on Manny Diaz? Like, why are you so why are you stuck on talking about Mar Mario Cristobal? You should be happy with what Manny Diaz is doing right now, Dennis. Come on, bro, talk to me. Yeah, I agree with you, Rat. Before State should have never changed their look. We had no reason to change our look. We should have been like Michigan and Notre Dame. Those schools have been changed their look. And actually, I think Michigan did change their look under Rich Rodriguez, if I'm not mistaken. I think they changed the uniform. They didn't change like the logo or anything, but they changed like they changed some things about the uniform. But we should have been like Notre Dame. Like we should just say classic Florida State. I'm okay with having the tribal symbols on the sleeves, because Florida State has a unique relationship with the Seminole Tribe of Florida. So I'm okay with that. But for the most part, we should have never changed the logo or anything like that. I agree with you. A hundred percent. I agree with you. We are almost done with this game. 42 to 7. We whooped up on these wolf pack. We are almost done here. Appreciate everybody who stuck around in the live stream. I had a blast. Chubba Purdy had a blast, as you can see. Jay Sean Corbin had a blast. Raptor, when you steal crab legs from Win Dixie, it catches up with you. Well, first of all, it was from Publix. Let's get that fact straight, Dennis. Second of all, he didn't steal the crab legs. Everybody knows at this point he was gifted the crab legs. Jameis was smart in the fact that he learned from Peter Warwick, right? Remember, Jameis, Peter Warwick got in more trouble. Peter Warwick got in more trouble from receiving gifts from the NCAA. When Peter Warwick went to that, I think it was a Macy's, and got those free shoes, him and Lavernius Coles, they got in more trouble than Jameis Winston got for stealing crab legs. But we all know it was a gift. They gave Jameis those crab legs. And that's how messed up the NCAA is. they rather a kid steal something than be given a gift. If Jameis Winston had said, I got those crab legs as a gift... FSU would have faced all kind of sanctions and all kind of investigations and all that BS. So he was smart when he said, hey, I took them. Later to come out and say, I didn't take them. I was given to me as a gift. So we all know how that went. With all this Redskins situation going on, do you think Florida State will be forced to change their name? I don't think so. No. So, again, that goes with... The Seminole uh, Tribe of Florida. Seminole Tribe of Florida has spoken on behalf of Florida State. FSU has a relationship. FSU, when it comes to the entire institution of Florida State, they don't do anything Seminole related, right? Anything that perpetrates the tribe without the blessing of the tribe, right? So FSU doesn't. Right, the mascot and the uniform and the symbols and everything FSU does is blessed off by the Seminole Tribe. And the Seminole Tribe wants something changed or there was a lot of things that FSU had in the past that the Seminole Tribe didn't like and FSU has changed it. The name won't change. The name won't change unless the Florida State Seminole Tribe says... We don't know. We no longer support that university, which I don't see happening. So yeah, the name won't change. I don't think the name's gonna change at all. But hey, good showing for this live stream. I will continue to do live streams. I think we had a successful turnout. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. We just beat NC State 42 to 7. As you can see, Raptor, new subscriber, thank you for tuning in, brother. Please continue to follow the channel, share, hit that like button. Dennis, please continue to be a Miami hater. And everybody else tuning in, thank you. It's your boy, PC Noel, a.k.a. Polk County Noel, PC for short. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, we're going into week nine. I'm about to hop on this Ghost of Shusima. I've been playing that like crazy. So that's what I'm about to get on. Uh, one one last comment. Raptor says, oh, okay, I didn't know all of that. Thanks. Yeah, it's okay. You ask the question, I give you an answer. As a guy that covers Florida State, there's certain things that I need to know so I can tell people. FSU has a relationship with the Florida State tribe, so everything FSU does that's Seminole-related has to get passed through the tribal council, and the tribal council will then say whether they approve it or not. FSU does not do anything in terms of the Florida, the, the, the Seminole look without the tribal council's approval. That does not include the Oklahoma Seminoles, right? There's Oklahoma Seminoles. The FSU doesn't really, if the, if the Florida State Seminoles say it, they don't really care what the Oklahoma Seminoles say. So that's how that goes. But again, man, thanks you guys for turning in. It's your boy, the Polk County Knoll. Like I always say, stay classy, Seminoles, and we out ya. Y'all boys turn in next time with your boy. I'm out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it.